what's up you guys so i had this question asked if there were any male OBGYN pas and if so how weird is that so if you're interested in the answer to that question this is the video for you so let's get into the video right now What's up, you guys? It's Sedona. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, so um, as you know, I switched over to OBGYN um, uh, like over a year ago, well over a year ago now, almost two years now. Um, this year will make two years. Uh, and um, I love it. It's great. Uh, it's doing what I want it to do for my life in terms of like my maneuverability and in terms of like my mental health, which is another thing that, another reason why I switched over for that to be primary because I wanted to see life instead of death, um, more life instead of more death, like what I was seeing with trauma. Now, the question was asked, are there male OBGYN PAs? And so for me, like in my hospital, uh, there are no male OBGYN PAs. There are male OBGYNs, but there are no male OBGYN PAs. Um, and, you know, I, I don't, I don't know why that is, but maybe they just don't, like the experience when they come on their rotations or maybe it's just not something they ever saw themselves doing i'm not really sure i did have one student who was a male that wanted to be an OBGYN PA once he got on the rotation but there are no openings in ob uh because no one leaves because everybody's happy and everybody wants to stay uh so that is a thing right there now how weird would it be if there was a male OBGYN PA? I guess just as weird as it would be if there's a male OBGYN. Honestly, I think it depends on you and like your comfort and what you want. And as a woman in that like vulnerable state of like pregnancy and or just like wealth checks for like your vaginal region and your perineal region, like I think it's really important to be comfortable so if a male OBGYN or a male OBGYN PA does not make you feel comfortable then don't go to them right you know find someone uh, male or female but find someone that will make you feel comfortable enough to put yourself in that vulnerable position because what they do is important and it can save your life, you know, with respect to like cervical cancer and spotting like ovarian and uterine cancer and those various different things. So there are, I would say, I looked up this statistic, it's about 15% of all ob are male and 85% are female. So that kind of just shows you just in that spectrum alone, uh, how much male presence is actually in the field. So even imagine more where in, PAs, like in the PA profession, like males are slightly lower in terms of percentage than females. Like it's a very heavily female ran profession. So that alone will tell you that it's, there's not that many in the profession. Um, and I think honestly, if you probably, you, could, you might be able to like count on a few hands, maybe there's like a hundred of that male PA. So um, that is something that I think if you are interested in or if there's somebody that you know that's interested in that, that they should look into it um, and maybe they'll be able to find an office or a hospital um, that fits with that, fits with them wanting to be in, in the PA scope in ob gyne and give them the opportunity because, you know, like we're fighting for rights and stuff and it's all equal opportunity. So I don't think that that is something that should prevent you, like your gender should prevent you from getting into the career that you want to get into, uh, especially if you could be helpful uh, and it can be beneficial to those that you are trying to serve. So not any at my hospital. I've not seen one ever in my life. Um, and I've only met one student that actually wanted to become one, uh, but is not one because there's just, there's no, there was no space. Um, there's no options for him when he was looking for, for the position. All right. If you have any other questions for me, leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Adana the PA. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.